In our previous example, we used a simple program to check to see if num1 was greater than num2, and if so, we displayed a message. Then, if num1 was equal to num2, we displayed a different message, and finally a third message if neither of those two conditions were true. Let's look at a way to clean this up though, because this gets pretty complicated. Notice that we have a condition block inside of an else block, and that creates additional levels of indents, makes it a little bit harder to follow. Luckily, there is a better way. And what we want to do is we want to put everything on the same level of indentation based upon the fact that we're checking the same two variables. Now, that doesn't mean that we're always going to be able to do this, and I want to make sure you're aware of that. But whenever we're checking the same two variables for different sets of values, it's helpful to try to put them on the same level of indentation. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new file to work with. In my old file, I'm going to start to copy just the first little bit. And I'm going to save this as a Python file. We have our basic comment. We're just going to update that just a little bit. We have num1, num2, and we have our condition check to see if num1 is greater than num2. Now, I could put a separate if statement on this new line and say if num1 equals equals num2, and then another if statement on the same line that says if num2 is greater than num1. The problem is that's not really efficient coding because we'd have to check for all three conditions. Whereas in the way that we're going to do it, and the way that we did it before, once we found a true condition, everything else in the rest of that block got skipped. And so it's a much more efficient program. Now, on something small like this, the efficiency isn't a huge deal, but when you start to work with a larger project, it becomes very important very quickly. So let's look at how we're going to combine the else and the if statement together. Python has a special command actually for this. And it's called lif. An elif is a combination of both the else and the if command. And what it's literally doing is it's saying if the first condition is not true, then I want you to check this second condition. And that's because it's got that if component. But because it's got that else component, if the first condition is true, we're just going to ignore everything else after this. And that's going to make us a little bit more efficient. So in keeping with the same flow that we had before, I'm going to say if num1 equals, remember we use a double equal sign for equality, num2, colon, I then have a simple print statement, print they are equal. The else block in this case is going to be if num1 is not equal to num2 and if num1 is not greater than num2. If I switch between my first file and my second file, you notice that my second file is actually one line shorter. The lines of code isn't the big deal. It's a matter of how it's organized. And this is going to give us a little bit of improvement in performance, which little bits of improvement over a large program do matter a lot. The other thing that you're going to notice is that it's a little bit easier to read because I don't have so many different levels of indentation. Because Python uses indentation in order to show blocks of code, and they are required, you can wind up having things that get indented quite a lot in large, complicated programs. Therefore, we want to simplify processes anytime we have a chance to. This is a perfect example of this. Let's go ahead and check the output of our program. So I'm going to type in py, conditions2.py, that's the name of my file and I run it, it comes back as they are equal, which is what I expect. I'm going to modify num1, run it. Num1 is bigger, just as we expected. Modify num1 now, so num2 is bigger. Run our file, and now it outputs that num2 is bigger, just as we expected. So we've modified our file and made it a little bit more organized, made it a little bit more compact and easier to read, and made it a little bit more efficient. And it gives us the exact same output, just as we were expecting.